I'm Miss Rebecca Newbern, and we're going to learn how to find the slope. And the slope, once again, is the steepness of a line. We're going to look only at linear equations. Other things do have slopes, but they're not constant. Um, and one thing that I think is really important for kids, uh, for students to know, is that it gets a little bit confusing because knowing that the slope is one thing, but you need to also know what information you're given and what tools you need to use. So there are actually about three different main ways to find the slope. So we're going to go over, I'm going to create three different videos. So this is just one of them. So the three ways to um, find the slope is from an equation, which is what this video is about. You can also find the equation from, sorry, find the slope from a graph, or you can find it from a table. So check out the other videos to get kind of the full spectrum of what you need. But this one's going to be specifically on finding the slope from a linear equation. Now this is the equation you really want to become familiar with. It's y equals mx plus b, and m is the slope, and b is the uh, y-intercept. The x-intercept cannot be found, you know, looking directly at the, um, the coefficient or the constant. The x and the y in this case are actually points on the line. So that's kind of an important piece to know. Now, if you're given an equation like y equals some, you know, amount, then it's going to be fairly easy to find the slope and the y-intercept. You can just write down y equals mx plus b and find the slope, m being negative 2, right off the equation. So this is a straightforward way. y equals, it's already in mx plus b form. Great, easy to find out. Now, sometimes you're given an equation that's not y equals. So you're going to have to do some algebraic manipulation to get it to look like this before you can find it. Do not be tempted to think, oh, it's just the coefficient or the number that's before the x. So warning, warning, warning. Don't go there. So what you're going to do is ask yourself, how do I solve for y? Do the same thing that you do for solving equations. So I would... To get rid of 4x, I would do the inverse, which is subtracting by 4x to both sides. I'm not going to line them up because it looks kind of confusing. You can't subtract those from each other. So 4x minus 4x cancels out. And we get negative. Be careful. People forget that all the time. But you won't. I know that. 2y equals, and I'm going to use the commutative property to kind of put them more in a mx plus b form. So negative 4x plus 8. Once again, there's no sign in front of it, so that indicates that it's a positive value. Now asking yourself, are these two kind of in the same format? No, we can see that there's a coefficient in front of that y, that negative 2. So what you have to do is to both sides, so you need to get this to y equals, so I'm going to divide this side by negative 2. You've got to be careful. If you do it to one side, you got to do it to the other side, the whole side. Now, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is a giant one. It's just y equals x. I'm going to kind of erase this so you can kind of see the way that I like to set the problem up. I think it's a little bit easier. So at this point, we've made this y. So I have y equals negative 4x plus 8 divided by negative 2. And what I like to do is to make this easier to simplify and to avoid some common mistakes is to separate this into two fractions and simplify each one individually. So this is negative 4x divided by negative 2 plus 8 divided by negative 2. And then I can simplify each part individually. So I get y is equal to negative divided by negative positive 2x positive divided by negative, negative 4, or you could have said plus uh, negative uh, 4. Once again, do we have it in a format that looks like the slope-intercept form? Yes, we do. So once again, if I write y equals mx plus b, I can see that my slope is 2, and my y-intercept is, if I said plus negative, it would be the y-intercept is negative 4. So once again, when you're trying to solve for the slope, and you're given an equation, 
Make sure you get it in a slope intercept form and then find the coefficient for the x. That'll be it, you think. Watch the other videos to find out how to find it from a graph and from a table. Good luck.